Welcome back, beer tubers. Today we're going to take a look at a beer from Nin Kasi Brewing Company out of Oregon, and this is Vanilla Otis. This is a 7.2% alcohol by volume oatmeal stout with vanilla. I've never had it before. I just picked it up, and they say they've uh, been brewing it since 2009. Uh, 50 IBUs, and uh, some good information on their part of their flagship series. And Kasi just kind of they were in San Diego a little bit, and then recently they just came into the market big time with a lot of their beers. So I don't, I don't believe I've ever tried this beer. So I got to pour it out. It's pitch black. It, the head's just a uh, nice light brown on there. Let's get the aroma. Not a ton of vanilla, but you're definitely picking up a lot of oak character. Definitely some nice roastiness, uh, almost a, a burnt smokiness to it. Some like darker chocolate, hints of baker's chocolate. Yeah, a lot of oatmeal, not really picking up a ton of vanilla on the nose. Let's dig in, cheers. Oh, that's nice and creamy. It's got some nice roastiness to it. Pick up a little more vanilla on the flavor uh, compared to the nose, which was really hard to tell on the nose. I mean, if, if it didn't say it was vanilla on the nose, it never would have known. Uh, in the flavor, though, it adds a nice little subtle nuance to the beer. The beer starts out very, very silky, smooth, and creamy. It's got a nice blend of semi-sweet chocolate and caramel notes to it. And then uh, midway through, uh, starts to really dry out. You get a lot of that roast character that goes from slightly burnt, almost smoky notes to definitely a nice roasty coffee note and then uh, like a bitter chocolate finish. And then there's like this little hint of vanilla sweetness on the finish. But uh, overall, it's a, it's a nicely balanced beer with the sweetness up front and the, the, the drying factor in the back end of the beer. The more I drink it, the more I pick up on some molasses-like notes and uh, a little bit of uh, an earthy character, maybe a hop character from those 50 IBUs coming through. And there's a little bit of a spiciness too, and I don't know if that's either a hop character or maybe the alcohol coming into play. But it's, uh, it's a pretty nice beer. I, I wish there was a little bit more vanilla character to it though, to be honest. I, it, it could use a, a touch more sweetness on the finish because it does dry out quite a bit and I, I guess that's my real uh, only complaint with the beer. Other than that, it's just got a nice creamy mouthfeel for the, the alcohol percentage and it's just pretty easy drinking stuff too. So it's going down easy. It's, it's got a lot of oak character and I, I, I probably didn't mention that enough on the flavor. But uh, that's kind of up front, just that really silky creaminess with the oats. So uh, yeah, nice, pretty solid beer from Nikasi. I'm going to go with the B. I think it's definitely uh, above average stuff. Recommend checking out. It's pretty reasonably priced too for a bomber. So it's going to wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.